Record of Ragnarok. Let's get into it. It's pretty much like a tournament. That's what it is. To save humankind before they become completely eradicated. Basically, it's some historical figures that are from the human world and some mythological ones from the god world that are going to be competing with each other and that's just what it is like 13 battles pretty much you have your mythological gods from like thor zeus poseidon adam jack the ripper i feel like there's more greek mythology in here than really anything else they're supposed to be more well-rounded maybe in the next seasons they will be but right now that's not what it's looking like the things that i like before i get into the things that i don't like because there are a few things that i don't like i love the drawing style the drawing style is very creative. It does take things to a different level. It's not really the typical way that you would think like, let's say how Thor would look. Like his whole design looks completely different than what I was imagining it was going to turn out to be. The same goes for Buddha's design, right? So a lot of the gods kind of have this different way they were pictured. I mean, Jack the Ripper kind of looks the way that I think he was supposed to look, as well as Zeus. I think those kind of were still consistent with what I was feeling. I think Loki as well, he does look different, but I feel like every way they portray him kind of like still fit what I would think he's supposed to look like. Adam kind of looks typical to what I think he would look like, but his personality wasn't what I was expecting. The designs of the characters are very intriguing, especially Buddha is my favorite character design as well as my favorite character in the whole entire series. Did I drop it? Did I continue watching this season? Um, I dropped it. Will I continue watching it? Not the way that you're thinking. It's very boring. It's a lot of backstory that really is unnecessary. You go six episodes with like a whole fight and it's like that could have been done within two episodes to be very honest because the backstory takes up at least four of those episodes and you get one hit from one opponent and then the two episodes later here's a second hit or another hit from the other opponent and then fights over by the time we get two episodes later to like the sixth episode, all of a sudden the fight speeds up and one ultimate attack and then boom, it's done. Basically, no, that's the gist of it. I really could have done without a lot of that backstory. It was so unnecessary. You don't really need this whole backstory for episodes and episodes and the backstories were slow. So it wasn't even like a fast paced storytelling. I did watch through the season one. It was a struggle. It was a battle to stay awake. Be honest, watch, watch all the episodes of Buddha. That's the best. He is the character. He definitely gives Jujutsu Kaisen Gojo vibes. I'm just going to say that and go look at his scenes. I had to speed through. I know that's bad. That's such a taboo to thing to do, right? I had to speed through all of these like backstories, any like tellings. I mean, Buddha's was interesting, but everybody else's, I just kind of like sped through it. The Valkyrie chick with the other girl, I think she was like a Valkyrie in training. I really didn't pay attention to what that little girl was. Pretty much anytime they showed up to give their like narrative, I just skipped over them. I skipped over pretty much everybody except for the fight that was happening between Buddha and the other guy. And it was great. It was actually so entertaining, but then by the end of it, it was like, okay, Buddha's fight's over. <laughs> it's not interesting anymore. Now, does that mean that the manga probably is different? Maybe the manga's better? Yeah, definitely can mean. Maybe it's just the way that it was animated and put together. That could actually make or break it tremendously. So in short, was it worth a watch? Just to know what it was. Is it worth continuing? No. Was it okay to watch one time? But yeah, so if you have a different opinion of it, if you've watched it, if you've watched it, definitely give a comment. Tell me what you think about if you agree, if you disagree. Now, if you've read the manga and you've watched the anime, let me know if you feel like the manga was way better or if it like was very consistent to the manga. I'd like to know that from someone who actually has read it.